Hey there art enthusiasts! Today we're about to embark on an exciting journey in the mesmerizing world of resin. My name is Andy and this is my art lab. In this video we'll uncover the magic of resin, its artistic charm and the different types of resin that bring our creations to life. So let's get started. Resin is like a secret potion of art materials. It's a mix of epoxy resin and hardener. And when they combine, they create a glossy and durable finish. It's a gateway into a realm of creating opportunities, allowing us to work with textures, colors, and effects in a truly enhancing way. Let's take a look at the different types of resin that we can use to create our amazing artwork. First up, we have art resin. So that's used for things such as art pouring. Um, we can pour resin onto like woods and use your hairdryer or heat gun to move the resin around and create some amazing artwork like this one on screen here. This is one that I created recently and you can see that it comes up really impressive and that gloss that you get from resin is pretty amazing. The other type of resin that you can get is casting resin. So casting, you use moulds like this. So this here is my skull mould and you can use it to cast different things such as this cute little French bulldog that we have here. And it's got some rose gold in it and it's come out pretty amazing. Uh, now casting resin obviously is a lot more dense and so therefore it takes a lot longer to cure. So normally about 48 hours for a casting resin. You can use it to create things like this. This is a coaster and I've used it with some alcohol ink to get this effect. Another resin type that you can use for artwork is what's called UV resin. So you have uh, resin which can be cured under UV light. So you have your trusty UV light here. You pour the resin and then you can use that to cure it within sort of a few minutes. Um, this is really great for things such as jewelry making. So of course the resin is just one part of the artistic mix here. You have obviously your two parts, your hardener and your resin. You mix them together. You try not to have too many air bubbles and then you go and create your artworks. But to make that artwork really pop, you need to add things to it. Now there's a number of different mediums that can be added to it. So we've got things like this here, which is pigment paste. So this pigment paste is a lot more dense um, than other colors and it will turn the resin the actual solid color. You also have another medium that we can use called mica powder. Now mica powder is kind of a reflective powdery substance that goes into the resin and although the resin does go a different color, it is actually more reflective. And so when you look at a cellular level, the resin particles from the mica are sort of swirling around it and it doesn't color the resin itself, but it just adds to the visibility of that. You have also got another thing that you can color resin with, and that's things such as resin dyes. So I have these resin dyes here, which do change the color of the resin and that's more of a transparent color added to the resin. The transparent color of the resin allows you to color it not as a solid color but just as a slightly colored transparent. Great for things like river tables where you might want a, a blue dye to give the impression of water for example. You can also add to your resin a huge amount of materials uh, it's up to you, it's limitless really on what you can create. Um, so for example, I have things like these, this gold foil. Uh, this gold foil allows you to add things. So if we look back at this um, French Bulldog, which I cast, it's got some rose gold foil inside it. And it gives a really amazing effect. Uh, he's also made with some um, black pigment. So he's got that black and gold look to him. For me casting resin is one of the fun things uh, that I'm really enjoying and so you can fill these molds up with 
resin and you can color them and you can add different things to them. I've got an example here where I've got uh, the skull and we've got some corks added inside there just to give it a different effect and uh, it's really cool to see what things you can do with different objects and resin as a medium for your art. I hope this video has been helpful to show you what is resin. And just to summarize, it's essentially a two-part mix, part A, resin, part B, a hardener, which when mixed together has a chemical reaction which hardens the resin to give us beautiful artwork. We've got art resin, we've got casting resin, we've got UV resin, and I'm sure there's others out there which people use for artwork as well, but they're the main ones that artists currently use. With these resins, you can add color by using such things as pigment paste, mica powder, and resin dyes along with other things like alcohol ink. You can also add lots of things to your resin. So those things are like gold foil, uh, different objects, and the possibilities are really endless. If you like this beginner's guide to resin, what is resin video, then just give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button as we expand more on this beginner series for resin. Till next time, thanks for joining me in the art lab.